Hey everybody, welcome back to another video within the Generative AI series and in this video we'll explore the vision capabilities of the newly released model by OpenAI which they are calling GPT-40 which is short for GPT-4 Omni. So in this video we'll be building a full stack application using React and FastABI at the backend and we'll be creating a post route that receives a file, uh, an image file, which we'll be uploading from the front end right here, which you're seeing on your screen right now. And so let's give you guys a quick demo. So here's a cute picture of a kitten. We'll be uploading it and boom. The image shows a small kitten with light colored fur and blue eyes. The kitten is resting its is paws on a surface of the leopard print pattern. The background appears to be dark. So great amount of detail and very precise description. So let's go into the code and learn how we can sort of put all of these things together and play around with the Vision API provided by GPT-40. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. So I'm right here into the code and uh, just going to walk you through the structure, the folder structure of this particular project. So I'm here uh, at the root of my folder and I have main.py which acts as my server. Uh, we'll be walking through each line and I'll explain each and every step. And then we have .env which I'm not going to show you because it has my secrets. Not my secrets, the project secrets. So then we have file uploader, which is basically the React application. So we have the source folder, we have app.css, app.js. Uh, so this is basically our component file, which you kind of see here. So all the stuff is in there. So yeah, let's start with the main.py. All right, so uh, we are importing some stuff from the fast API, which happens to be fast API upload file, which sort of helps us to upload the file, uh, as the name suggests. So we need OpenAI, we need load uh, .env, and then we are also importing uh, some course malware, which we'll be needing since we'll be running both of these applications within localhost. So here I am with my uh, so yeah, this is my file uploader running and this is my fast API running. So obviously if you do that, uh, with two local hosts on your local machine, so you run into course error. So to bypass that, we have imported course middleware, which is like the easiest way to do within fast API. So we load our environment variables. We initialize our fast API then we state a few origins. So this particular origin is basically where my React application is running. And within add middleware, we add the course middleware and we allow uh, the origins that we have stated over here. And we are allowing basically all methods and headers. So I have this particular route, which is basically on the Basically, this is the main route. So if I go in my repository and if I type in localhost uh, 8000, so this is my main route. So it says hello world. And the second route is uh, upload file. So uh, pretty simple stuff here. I'm receiving a file over here, which uh, has a type of upload file, which we have imported right here easy peasy stuff. I sort of initialize the key and we initialize, uh, initialize the uh, OpenAI client. Perfect. Uh, so here I'm reading the file contents and uh, so the OpenAI GPT-40 Vision API provides you the capability of attaching a URL of an image or the base64 you know, string of an image. So both are compatible. So in this particular case, I'm using the base64. So uh, what I'm doing, I'm fetching all the contents and then I'm converting the contents to base64 string. All right, so this is where the magic happens. So this is chat completion create, and I'm using the uh, GPT-4O model. 
and within the messages I have two divisions so this is the role user and this is where I uh, throw in the content that I have so the very first object is of type text and it just sort of points out a text which is sort of uh, a message to the model itself like what do you see in the image and then I have uh, an object which says image URL so this here takes a URL which happens to be a base64 uh, so I'm sort of uh, building it up as an F string so here here goes my base64 string I sort of uh, point out that I need 300 tokens so this is as per the example stated within the OpenAI documentation but you can tweak it around as per your use case then we dig into the response that we get from the model and we are throwing into the API response so that's pretty much it pretty easy peasy stuff right so to explore that you can go here and see docs so with fast API swagger comes uh, you know as a default integration so we have this cool interface uh, over here so uh, we can go and check out our API over here as well so if I go here and attach the same file with the kitten and hit execute so here you go this is where I get the response and uh, this would pretty much seem similar to what we have here within the uh, react application obviously the words the wordings can differ so yeah just to give you guys a uh, high level overview uh, all right so within the file uploader we have our public folder our source folder and uh, nothing much we have some style overriding so i'm using andy for the few components that i'm using here especially the upload component and I've just tweaked it around to sort of suit this particular use case and make it a bit responsive so so yeah uh, then within the app.js uh, here let's start from the beginning I have a particular function which sort of converts uh, so it's like uh, converting uh, the image file into the base64 string we're not sending the base64 string to the API we can do that but for a while we're not doing it we're using this particular base64 for the preview so what you see here is basically this base64 that we're generating over here so within the app function we set a few state variables so file list so this particular component can accommodate uh, multiple files but uh, I've only set it for one uh, to sort because I only need one so yeah that's pretty much it then we have handle preview and handle uh, change so I'll talk about that in a bit because these are like default function that comes with the upload component so they're like pretty much configured within the component so we hook our file list over here so uh, this helps the component to keep track of the number of files uploaded uh, and here we are mentioning our link um, to our server so basically this upload file over here is this particular route right here so this component takes care of like most of the stuff in terms of you know uploading the file to uh, the post link and then we have uh, the list type which is like picture card so this basically here is a picture card so you can do a lot of stuff like you can view it uh, so this opens it up into a nice viewer you can also remove it uh, which we'll do in a bit to test other images as well so uh, so yeah on preview what happens when the file is uploaded so what we're doing we're uh, using the file URL to generate the base64 string and then we are setting um, this preview through the file URL or uh, the file preview which we are getting as base64 so this file preview is being hooked uh, right here so this is the preview image 
So what we see in the preview image is uh, this is our state uh, which we are setting over here and consuming over here. Then we have some supporting methods, obviously, for the preview and stuff. Uh, wrapper style to sort of only show when it's, you know, uploaded to handle those kind of things. Then we have an empty container, uh, which you would see right here. So this is the empty container. So this is in case when the response is not yet received. So when the response is received, we would convert it into a response container, which you just saw over here. So this again is pretty straightforward and it's uh, both the front end and the server is pretty lean. So if you want to experiment with it more uh, so you can extend it as per your need. So yeah, let's go ahead and try a few more images. Mona Lisa. Let's see if it cracks it. All right. This image is the well-known portrait called Mona Lisa. Here we go. It is famous painting by the Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. Perfect. So let's go ahead and remove it and let's use this. All right, this image features the Eiffel Tower, a famous landmark in Paris, France. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and we already have. All right. I don't think this painting needs an introduction. The image is the famous painting title Starry Night by obviously one and only Winston Van Gogh. And it features a night sky filled with swirling clouds, stars, and bright crescent moon. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do, 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 do. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Uh, so this image appears to show a man dressed in a formal suit. Sorry, Dwayne. GPT-40 couldn't crack your name. Uh, the background suggests an indoor setting, possibly a set of a talk show or an interview. That's correct. So I think this is from Jimmy Fallon. So, uh, however, I cannot identify who the person is. Oh, man, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. All right, let's see. What do we have? All right, so I have this comic panel. Let's see what it says about it. So this is a so this is like a comic panel of yeah a bit of a dad joke why do astronauts use linux because they can't open windows in space yeah even the other dinosaurs aren't happy about this joke still uploading all right so the answer is this image is a four panel comic that's correct featuring a dinosaur performing stand of comedy <laughs> that's correct the first panel the dinosaur with the microphone is asking why do astronaut use linux so, nice so it's reading the text right as well in the second panel the dinosaur delivers a punchline because they can't open windows in space third in the third panel the audience of other dinosaur does not seem this is really cool because uh, it sort of also identified that, you know, the other dinosaurs didn't find the joke funny appearing unimpressed or uninterested. The fourth panel, the dinosaur comedian sheds a tear indicating that they're upset, disappointed, that their joke didn't, uh, that their joke didn't get a good reaction. So pretty much, uh, I would say, uh, like, uh, although it didn't recognize Dwayne The Rock Johnson, but besides that, it it has done an amazing job so gotta give it like nine out of ten so sorry again Dwayne. uh but yeah that's it for this video i hope you found it useful and i hope you can go ahead and build some amazing stuff of, of your own and yeah let me know what you guys feel about it if you have any questions please drop them down in the comment section and thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one